joining the show tonight. He scored the touchdown, heard around the world this week as Southern Nazarene upset the number three Tigers from Washtenaw Baptist. It's tight end, Dalen Smith. Dude. Hey, man. What a week for you guys. What a week for you. This has had to be a, a really exciting kind of uh, journey that you're on right now. And it's, I'm sure you probably can't appreciate all of it right now because you're still in the thick of it. And you know, obviously, I'm sure at some point throughout the episode, I'll, I'll get a great line from you of, you know, got to move on from this game, on to the next one. And you're supposed to say those things, by the way. But um, talk about, before we get into the play itself, talk about the nationwide reaction, it seems like, from that massive win on Thursday, dude. It, uh, it was awesome. I mean, immediately following the game, get in the locker room, we were kind of talking about it even today, just the the outpouring of alumni and the freshmen that didn't get to travel and just you know, everybody's blowing up your phone. So it was really cool to just to get on the phone with some of them guys and, and see their reactions and, and get some of that love from just from guys within the program or that have been in the program and before you even get out to even just the nationwide stuff. I mean, we obviously, we, is, we knew it was a big-time game, so some of that stuff would be coming, but really the, the awesome stuff was just see the guys like celebrating on campus, the videos that we got from that. And so that was really cool. That is always really cool. You talk about the guys, maybe that didn't suit up and, and make it to that trip, but obviously we're still tuned in and, and locked in. Um, and also you get to stick it to the bunch of people like myself that maybe forgot you guys were playing on a Thursday night on a Halloween type of night. Um, there were quite a few of them out there. And I think when, when that final score goes out, you surprised a lot of people for a couple of reasons. One, because you just went and upset this, what people thought maybe was a national powerhouse. And two, why the hell are they playing on Halloween? So there were these two different pieces um, but let's talk about, I mean, the play in particular, right? We're, we're getting down to it right near the end of the game. You guys haven't been able to, to punch it in throughout this one. You've been able to put points on the board. But finally, tight end screen or whatever variation your verbiage of that is called in the huddle, you have to go to the line of scrimmage and sell this block knowing the ball is going to be coming your way and, and really the fate of the game is going to be somewhat in your hands. Talk to me just pre-snap those moments, trying to keep it together, not give the defense any tells of what's going on. Well, really, it starts just leading up to that whole drive. We, we've been, I mean, incredible drive, the best drive of the game, and it comes just at the perfect time, made some really big plays. Those other guys, they really set it up. And, and uh, I mean, the dude in front of me is incredible DN and great pass rusher, and he had actually beat me on a couple other ones, just kind of sprinting away that he had, he's really eager and really thought he was going to run that down. And so, really, I had no problem. I knew for sure that I was going to sell it to this dude that, Oh, yeah. He was going to get by me, and and so it was just the the rest of it and how that was going to play out. I like that answer. I like that answer. That's how you uh, that's how you want to feel in one of those moments. And so now, you know, you get the ball in your hands. You turn up field. Not only you got a couple blockers in front of you, you got green grass. And I just, I mean, I mean do you black out in that moment because that that's got to feel like you know I I know as someone who comes out of the backfield maybe catches the ball, you're expecting to be, maybe get hit right away, right? Someone read the hell out of this from the jump. Uh, what's that feeling? Getting the ball in your hands and going for the for the pylon for the end zone. Uh, yeah, and he's turned around, and I, I see two white jerseys in front of me, and, and she took off, and I tell everybody back, and you kind of have that picture that diving across the goal line, and really, when I dove, I got back to the sideline, I was like, I don't even know why I dove, I felt like I was four yards in the end zone, like, I knew for <laughs> sure I was in, and so I was like, I hope I didn't look too goofy, but uh, no, we, we've run that play before, and our O-line does a great job getting out on screens, and you see both of them guys getting out, of our tackles working on that corner, and mm -hmm. And the other guy to have the awareness to turn around and pick the guy up that was about to, to tackle me. But yeah, no. So it, I had a lot of confidence turning around. I mean, we've run that play several times before, and and they've even. I mean, there was several formations we line up in, and and them guys even on Thursday night were they watched tight end screen because it, it is a chunk play for us several times yeah. throughout the season. They're calling it out pre snap, but obviously there were there were no pre snap callouts on this one. I imagine. Yeah, and that's and that's our coach talked about all the time. The glory of our offense, we can just challenge guys formationally, lots of formations, lots of motions, and and so we we can run things a lot of different ways and and make it hard for the defense. A hundred percent, man. Now, is it hard in that moment? It, you know, the game for all intents and purposes is just about over, but there are still just under thirty seconds left on the clock. Is it hard not to celebrate? the way that you guys want to in that moment, knowing what you're on the cusp of, or, uh, you know, trying to get the guys locked in. Hey, first of all, we're trying to go for two, which you guys were unsuccessful on, but try to get the two point conversion, give us the three point lead. And then, okay, we got to feel the kickoff and then, you know, stop them ultimately from a hail Mary or some type of long field goal attempt. Was it hard to kind of put those emotions down in the moment? Uh, yeah, it definitely was. It was, uh, like you said, we run the two point kind of had a little scare there, but we get them down. So it's no big deal. And then, 
it's uh just hurry up and wait you know you can't can't run that time off fast enough so just getting over there and and really waiting until the last second because the week before we know we get beat with the walk off from 54 yards we know they have a great kicker and yep. so it's just it's just you get over the sideline and you're watching your defense go play lights out for another one last drive and so yeah definitely just that's, hurry up and wait that's some kind of feeling hurry up and wait is a great way to describe it i love that and it's some kind of feeling too um from a guy that just made one of the biggest plays of the year the biggest play of the year uh probably for this team then you got to go on the sideline and it feels like it's totally out of your control right and that's such a what a football moment but that's when you got to trust the guys you know on the other side of the ball to do their thing now a lot of teams would lose faith after starting 0-8. And, and working up here at, at Northern, we got a team right now that is struggling. And it is hard to get guys to buy in each and every week when you're playing some of the top teams in the country. And not only that, going on the road against a top five opponent, if you had to quantify it, what is it about this team that you guys have been able to keep the buy in, even after some of those those struggles early on, to to make them believe that something and a result like this was possible? It it really starts several years ago you know our program's relatively new for d2 and mm -hmm. we've had our ups and downs we had a great season last year but ever since uh hey coach hate has come in it's been are you willing to fight re regardless of score or circumstance and that's been the deal for the past several years and so even before this year the the o and eight or whatever you are it's it's uh, in every game if, if you're getting blown out like are you going to come out and fight these dudes and so i think that's just kind of the the culture we've kind of been building around here for the last several years and the dudes and I know it's a big deal in fall camp every year it's a hey, if you're not one of these guys then then you're not you're not part of it so and that's something that's preached every year all year long it's one of our big big things is are you willing to come out and, and fight regardless of score circumstance and so I just think that really kind of prevailed on that night so no, that's really good, and that's that's easier said than done, right? And for you guys yeah, to go out absolutely. and exemplify that is is really good. And I, I like that, you know, no matter score or circumstance, I like that a lot, right? No matter all the other things, again, outside of your control, potentially, um, you know, how are you going to go out there and represent yourself and, and your team? And you talk about your program being, in the grand scheme of things, a pretty young one. Your first win over Watchtown in program history, a hundredth program win for uh, SNU. Some would say that is a scary coincidence on a night yeah, like that. Just as the, as the night went on, we just keep getting more of these, oh, it was the first program win. Oh, it was the 100th program win. Oh, it was. Yep. And so it was just really cool to keep hearing all that and hearing how just much we got to advance the program in that in that one win. 100%. And before, you know, we got recording, you had talked about how, you know, the buzz started to pick up on Thursday night. And as people realized that this was really going to be a game that maybe a lot of people didn't expect, more people started showing up. During was that like a halftime? We had like a, another kind of group that came into the stadium. Talk to me about how how that how that went. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember if it was at halftime when we came out or or in between third and fourth yeah. quarter or whatever. We had uh, some of the Henderson guys coming over there right across the street. They were down there. They were celebrating every play with us down there, dang near on the sideline. And, <laughs> That's awesome. and so uh, our fan base kept growing, even though we weren't having Oklahoma people drive out overnight yeah. or over over the course of the game. So it was, it was pretty cool to see all them guys down there and and see if we were tracking them guys to get out there and come watch. That's pretty cool. Celebrating white with you. That is, uh, that's, a unique, that's a unique deal. And now you guys back home, you've got – it looked like homecoming and senior day this weekend? Yes. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go, man. One. In front of what I hope will be kind of a packed crowd from the jump of things. You get a lot of people. You talk about those alumni and other people involved with the program that now maybe just have that one more reason to come out and support you guys uh, this weekend. Talk to me about uh, this weekend's game, what you got to do to get the job done yet again. Uh, just, I mean, same things as we've been doing. We've been playing, we've been talking about all year, just effort and, and things like that and physicality, just being super physical and, and playing with all of our effort and then just playing pretty good football on top of that, not not turning over the ball and, and limiting penalties. So offensively, that's, that's our big deal. And then our defense just, man, they've been, I know like scores and stats, you look at it, it just doesn't show how, how great them dudes have been playing. They, yeah. Our defense has been playing lights out, and so offensively just limiting turnovers and penalties. No matter score or circumstance, my friend. But I'll uh, I'll let you get to a, a late practice tonight, it sounds like. I really appreciate you uh, taking a little bit of time out of your day. My man, exciting week for you guys. And uh, shoot, let's let's build on this, huh? Absolutely. Finish awesome. out. Yeah. Dylan, thank you very much, man. Have a good night. Awesome. Thank you.